Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's video, we will compare two access points, the Unify APAC light with the AP6 light, a Wi-Fi 5 device with a Wi-Fi 6 device. But first, let's unbox the new Wi-Fi 6 device. The packaging has been changed a lot since the previous generation. The first thing we can see in the box is the mounting screws. And the actual access point. It looks very similar to the previous one. A mounting bracket. And the plastic bracket. Let's leave this aside in order to compare the two access points. Have in mind that no PoE injector is included in this box, so you need to have a PoE capable switch in order to power this up. As you can see, the size is identical. Exactly the same. But the new Wi Fi 6 access point is much heavier. So, is it worth it to upgrade to a Wi-Fi 6 access point? In order to answer that, we need to execute some tests. But first, let's check something really important. If you like our tutorials, support our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Like and share our videos. And if our tutorials help you to grow your business, become a true member of Poseidon Tech by clicking the Join button. If you want to learn more about our services, visit our website. And now the question that counts the most. Is Wi-Fi 6 faster than Wi-Fi 5? In order to answer this, we need to execute some tests. We will use open speed test in order to execute this test. But first, let's check that we are connected to the correct Wi-Fi access point. We will use Wi-Fi network in order to confirm that. And as you can see, we'll use an iPhone, and this iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi 5 access point, the APAC light. And of course, we have open speed test running on the same network. Open speed test is running on Docker in the QNAP QDG 1600P. The IP address of the open speed test is 192.168.180 and this is the IP address that we'll use from our iPhone. Have in mind that this is an iPhone 11 which is a Wi-Fi 6 capable device. So let's run a test. So we are around 276 for downlink and uplink. And this is for Wi Fi 5. Now it's time to move our device to the Wi Fi 6 access point. In order to achieve this, we need to create a new Wi Fi SSID that will be broadcasted from this specific access point. Okay, as you can see, now our device is connected to the Wi-Fi 6 access point. 
Have in mind that all Unify Wi-Fi 6 access points are marked with this little sign in the corner. Let's confirm once again. OK, we are connected to the Wi-Fi 6 access point. Now let's run the test. As you can see, we have better results. But in order to be sure, let's execute the test once again. As you can see, Wi-Fi 6 access point is at least 10% faster, but it's up to you if this speed increase is enough in order to upgrade. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.